That third queen's like sitting in your main. She's just chilling. <laughs> She's got nowhere to be right now. Alright, mute us. Alright, so like pull back. Transition right into a normal bio build. Looks like he doesn't have stim yet either. Alright. Well, go ahead and keep up drone production at this point. Take your fourth. Send one zergling like right outside his natural so you can see immediately when he's moving out. But just make mutilus right now. Mutilus and drones. No, no zerglings yet. And mine both the Vespian geysers at your third. And that's when you're going to go ahead and make those two evolution chambers. Pull your drones back, or your mutilus back, so you can group them up with the ones that are spawning. Ghost. That was weird. So what do I need for that? So, um... <laughs> Assuming Roach, but I think Ling Baneling will work fine. Uh, go ahead and group all your Mutilus up and just keep harassing his main at this point. And make Zerglings now that you have pretty good drone saturation. Go ahead and transfer, uh, make start a queen at your third and then transfer some drones from your main and natural to your fourth and take both the Vespin Geysers at it. Kill that turret. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Place one zergling at his third and one zergling at his fourth, patrolling between the fourth and fifth. Send that yeah, queen from your third to your fourth. Perfect. Overlords, uh, melee armor upgrade, yeah, yeah perfect. Okay, start morphing banelings as many as you no can. Gas. You have enough. Just keep morphing banelings until he gets there. You don't need like a ton of banelings to kill this. Keep morphing banelings though. You want to just keep it, to keep morphing them. Right now, while you're supply blocking, you can't really do anything else. Just like constantly morph banelings. Pick off siege tanks. There we go. Alright, so it looks like he might be moving to your fourth. I'm not sure. Yep. So go ahead and move up, yeah, along your third, move into your fourth. Uh, Zergling production. Don't, yeah, let him siege up. Ah, Alright. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Keep up Zergling production. No, you gotta engage with all of it at once. Put your mutilus over your zerglings and your banelings right now. Okay. Okay. Put your zerglings, yeah, all of it right there. Go ahead now, just try to attack, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Move the banelings towards the marines. No, you gotta attack with the mutas too. They're you attack with the on the hotkey, they weren't. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, that was a clusterfuck. Alright, um, just go ahead and wait for these zerglings, spawn larva at all your hatcheries. Yeah, run those drones up there to delay him. Yeah, perfect. Maybe he'll chase after him. Go ahead and morph banelings. Alright, so it looks like he's taking his third as well. Go ahead and start plus two air attack upgrade. And yeah, just keep rallying all your hatcheries to your third and keep making zerglings and banelings. Attack that. Nice. Alright, go ahead and start up mutilus production again. And watch your mutilus because he's probably going to run in here through some uh, rain soon. Oh, try and kill it if you can. Spawn larva at your natural. Oh, I think you need a queen there. Ah. Or, yeah, attack. You can do it. Thank you. Or you can wait for your mutilus, either way. 
All right, go ahead and attack. What? All right. Why do I have nine million fucking minerals? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and take your fourth and fifth right now, and start your plus two upgrades. And just keep making mutilus. Take that other Zolnaga watchtower as well. Yeah, right now you're just going to try and keep him from taking that third. And place the Zergling up at his fourth as well to scout and make sure he doesn't have. His, maybe he took his fourth first or something. Oh, he's taking. Okay. Don't run the mutilus over it. Yeah. Well, he's going to have it pretty sieged up. It's going to be really hard to defend. So right now you kind of want to just keep making mutilus and you're going to harass his main with them. So mutilus and then zerglings with any extra minerals. Go ahead and start uh, your infester mound so you can start teching the hive as well. How's my drone Eventually, you're at 64, but right now you're only mining off of two bases, so it's okay. But you're gonna need about 10 more here in like 30 seconds or so. So uh, when do I stop making muse? Because I'm maxed. I guess. When I uh, <laughs> yeah, when you're maxed, pretty much. You have three queens in your main as well. All right, yeah. Tech labs on factories are always like the key things to take out. So kill the tech labs after you're done done with those. All right, pull back. Kill the try and kill the armory or the tech lab right now. Just that's not enough marines to kill those mutas, so you want to actually engage that. It'd be efficient. Next little turret. Um. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to do that. Surround the Thor spread. Oh, tech. Alright, just keep up uh, Zergling production, take both the gases at your fourth, make about ten drones and send them to your fourth, or your fifth, rather. Ten drones to my fifth. Yep, alright, go ahead and start morphing banelings. Start, start, no start morphing banelings. Okay. Start morphing banelings. Start morphing banelings. It's like, it has to be like instantly. Okay. Alright, go ahead and attack right now with everything. Mutilus, everything. You you gotta keep the Zerglings with the Banelings. Uh, I mean, it worked, but. GG. Yep. What I do oh, is this I. This matchup is hard. Uh, I hotkey my Zerglings and Banelings together, and then I just control select the Banelings and tell them to move. So it kind of makes it simpler. Alright, cool. My girlfriend's going to watch a mo uh, movie with her friends. So let me give her a guess. Okay. Love you, babe. I'll call you later. All right. Okay. Well, I'll call you. By the way, you look very cute in your pajamas. All right. Sorry. Sorry about the distraction. Uh, okay. Uh, we have about 20 more minutes. So let's see here. I would. I would really love to. Um. Okay. Well, let's talk about what you said there at the end of that game. You said your zerglings have to be with your banelings, and you've been yelling yep. at me about that all night. Yep. Um, and I, now, correct me if I'm wrong here, and, and I, apparently I am wrong. I, I have been I have been instructing people, and I have been telling people to hotkey your lings and your banelings separately, keep them apart, because your lings have to kind of prevent the kiting, and your banes have to sort of come from the front and create this amazing acid-drenched sandwich, um, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, well, because zerglings are actually faster than banelings, like even with... Uh you know, the upgrade, mm -hmm. you can actually just kind of run from one angle surround and, uh, you know, then engage, and they're either going to be forced to run from the Zerglings, in which case they're still taking damage, or you should still just be able to surround them with the Zerglings anyway. Um, what you're more worried about, especially with that specific composition, anytime there's siege tanks added in, is the possibility of engaging with the Banelings first, and then having all of your banelings get destroyed by your, before your zerglings even get there. 
Whereas if you have them all in one hotkey, like I'm not saying it's better to have them all in hot, one hotkey, but you need to make sure the Zergling is engaged first, but only by like a tiny fraction. Mm -hmm. uh, like you really, the Zerglings are only there to, like you said, like prevent them from kiting and to take the first first initial shots and allow the Banelings to get inside and actually deal their damage. But in a, a few of the battles you've had, you were actually like engaging with the Banelings first because they co were coming in from a separate angle, and that's where you kind of get yourself in trouble. Uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna actually make um, steps, and um, okay. You can't actually open hatchery first on steps. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can't do it. Um, uh, cool. Well, I'm interested to see some of that, sort of how you how you take your spin on this uh, this smaller map then. Okay. And I will invite him, and I'm going to invite you. And this will be our last game, and then after that we'll do a little Q&A. All right, sounds we'll good. And wrap things up. Where is Machine? There he is. Okay. So, um, you said you can't open hatch first here. How do you normally open? Uh, on this map, I would open 14 gas, 14 pool every single game. All right. Well, can we, for a minute, pretend that this is uh, Close Positions Temple, Close Positions Metalopolis? Um, okay. And, and play it that way. Is that too much to ask? Uh, no, I could try. Okay. And I'll go ahead and tell you, you know, th uh, there is an all-in coming. I don't okay. know. It might not even be a two-racks all-in. But um, it will be an all-in of some sort. So here we go. All right. And uh, and you know, if if you lose, we won't hold it against you. We'll just we'll just make fun of you and <laughs> post the replays everywhere and get okay, okay. and get every angry little nerd that hates Zergs to uh, commentate on it. All right. And it'll be plastered all over YouTube. And it'll be fantastic. Am I right? Okay. <laughs> yep. I I feel that you're rolling your eyes at me. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the reasoning why you can't open hatchery first on this map is pretty simple. It's just there's uh, too far of a distance between the main and natural to really defend the natural properly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, off creep because there are certain situations which you're, you're going to actually need that other queen. Mm -hmm. I spent like eight, or not quite eight, probably like four hours in a row practicing this map for a Drewby for uh, that SGL invitational I just won. <laughs> and was that time well spent? Uh, yes, actually. It was probably my highlight game of the whole series, was my game on steps against them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll have to go watch that. I haven't I haven't actually watched the SGL games yet, so... I've been uh, spending all my time staying up late to watch uh, Idra and Jinro. <laughs> yeah, I was a little disappointed about that. Yeah, yeah it was a bummer. I gotta say, man, I, I I love Idra. He's a great player. I thought the uh, the GG was premature on Metalopolis. Yeah, it probably was. But he knows far better than I ever will. So who am I? To, who am I to judge? Okay, so hatch first, in spite of you saying that hatch first is awful. On this map. Oh, I thought I thought you wanted me. Yeah, to yeah, do yeah. That no, I know we did. Oh, okay. I'm just I'm just adding my little uh, my little flavor commentary for you. Now, how much um, how much farther behind are you economically if you do go pool first on on a larger map like uh, Lost Temple or Metalopolis? Um, economically, I'd say somewhere between like three or four drones, which is actually like a really big deal that early. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't prefer it at all. <laughs> right. Uh, and there's just specific builds that you will not be able to hold off. 
Uh, like like I said, that Thor drop that is already giving everyone a hard time, you would not be able to hold off with it. With pool first or with hatch first? Uh, with pool first. Okay. 